Hi, welcome to Tantra's Oracle. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you also to the new subscribers that have already subscribed. So today I'm coming to do Javion or Javion McGee. Now, this just happened a couple days ago. So 21-year-old Javion McGee is from Bellwood, Illinois, and he was working as a truck driver when he was found hung from a tree in Henderson, North Carolina, without his phone or wallet. They said it's a suicide, but um, they said things aren't adding up. They said they wouldn't let the, the mother see any photos or him, okay, photos of him or him, I think. Um, so I'm just going to look into his case today. So... So here I have um, somebody that's being submissive. Somebody is going along with something. So, so somebody is that's being submissive is somebody that, like, say, whatever is happening. So that person that's being submissive is either participating in that. That means that they're going along with somebody else's plan. So if I'm with somebody, they plan on doing something, I just go along with whatever they got planned. I'm being submissive to that person. Or it could be that I know what's going on, but I don't do anything to stop. I'm just submitting. I'm being submissive to it. So I'm just letting it happen. All right. So with that, I have somebody who is thinking of themselves. So I got somebody being submissive um, to a selfish person. And then I have at the end a girlfriend. Okay, so here you have somebody could just be going along with something or being submissive to a very selfish person who could just be the girlfriend or somebody is just only thinking of their needs, okay? But it looks like it's relating to a female, okay? That we, I don't know if he had a girlfriend, but it's something about a girlfriend uh fiance wife okay let's see let's come in with this okay so now i have some money or material things I have some things that's unknown, foreign things. So these are things that are strange to you, unknown to you. You never experienced them before. You never been there before. Um, things that people don't know about, okay, or things that people don't want you to know about. And then I have here the heartbreak and the missing somebody, but that's coming with this female. So somebody seems to be upset or heartbroken over some type of female. Um, whether that's their girlfriend or what was a fiance or whatever the situation is. But here you have somebody only thinking of themselves. This is like a narcissistic person, self-centered. Okay. But then there's some things that this person has never experienced before, or they don't want you to know some things about what they're experiencing. And then I have the money and material things. Somebody is being submissive to that. So somebody may be going along with some things um, as it relates to material things or money, somebody with money. Okay, so now I have a hidden enemy. So that means this is somebody that's 
um, around you that doesn't really like you. You may not even know it. You may not even realize it. And then I have here the job or employment um, and some secrets. So there's some things that we don't know, and it could be relating to the job, okay? With how he earned his living or some things that he, he was supposed to be doing, all right? So with the hidden enemy, okay, somebody secretly doesn't like you, they're your enemy. I have that connected to somebody's being submissive in material things. So that means you're going along with some things um, that's connected to you. So just say if somebody is your enemy, they could be going doing certain things or participating with certain things. They don't like you, but they're going along with some things as it relates to maybe they're trying to get your money. Maybe they're trying to get some things that you own, your possessions. And then we have what the job or employment, okay? Connected to that is somebody who's only thinking about themselves. They don't have nobody else in mind, but there's some things that they don't want you to know or some things he never experienced before. So he may be dealing with some things that he had never experienced before as it relates to his job. Okay. And then also it's connected to somebody who's self-centered. Okay. Now there's some secrets over here connected to some of uh, the girlfriend that somebody is missing. So there's something going on with the female in the background um, that he's upset about, heartbroken about. She's upset or heartbroken about some things, but that's the secret. Hmm. Had a card to come out. I'll pull on in a minute. So now I have some corruption going on. So there's some things, illegal things, things that you got to think outside the box. You don't never know what these people could be doing with this corruption. But it's like people are going along with it. They're allowing it to happen. They're not doing anything to stop it. And with that corruption, I have someone that's different from you, different, different culture, different background, different race, you know, whatever. These people are different than you doing corrupt things. They're lying and being deceptive. Okay. Now, but this also, I don't know who this female is in the background, but there's some lies and deception connected to this female as well. So the consequences of your actions, somebody with money. So here you have something going on corrupt, some corruption going on, but people are allowing it to happen. These are hidden enemies, a hidden enemy of yours. And then with that, I have the consequences of your action. So these people are doing corrupt things because they may feel like you did something or you're doing certain things, but it's connected to your money or material things. So that's the consequences of your money and material things. Then I have someone from your past that you have history with, okay? There's some foreign things, unknown things. So so some things that's happening that you're not familiar with or you, you want people to not know about these things, but this is some history here with that as it relates to the job and these people that are different from you. So they're saying that he could have been in a, uh, a sundown town or something like that. So if that's the case, the history of these people Someone who's different than you, only worried about themselves. So these mean self-centered. So that means I'm focused on me, not you. Okay. So people with a history. Okay. Then you have people who are self-centered, thinking about themselves, different culture or background. 
then there's something about his job or employment here. But these people have a history of hiding, keeping things hidden. OK. If that's the situation, I can see that here, if that's what that is talking about. Now. The thing over here on the secret side, now this doesn't necessarily have to be related. It's just something about him, okay, that we may not just know. And it may not always have anything to do with it, but it comes out for a reason. So now we have somebody missing, somebody heartbroken. And see, the truth, somebody is being honest about that, okay? They're being truthful. They're, they're telling you the truth if they're talking about the heartbreak that they're missing this person. Um, they're being honest about that. Now, we're going back and we have the consequences of your actions, but this, these people have a history, okay? But it's like, it's no secret. It's no secret about these people and, and how they, what they do, what these consequences are. It's no secret. So it means that people just already know. Even though they try to keep it hidden, like they don't talk about it. They don't want you to know about it, but people already know because it's a history. All right. Now. All right. So now we have the authority figures as the hidden enemy. The authority figures is police, government officials, or whoever is um, the, the cause of the situation. That's the authority. A parent can be in authority over the child. Your supervisor is in authority over you. So whoever is running things, that's the hidden enemy. There's some corruption going on over there, and people go along with that corruption. And then here is the consequences of your actions. Maybe they wanted some money or something from him. I'm not sure. Whatever um, money or material things, somebody with money. But the authority figures are the hidden enemy. Now, the authority figures feels like they have the right to do what they want to do. All right. This is their job to do whatever they feel like. By, based on their job, we can do whatever we want to do. Now, here, there's some secrets within the family. So the secrets could be within the family, but there's some secrets about a family issue. So this could be some secrets being held away from his family. But people know the truth, but they're lying and being deceptive about it. So there's lies and deception here. Um, going on within this family. Even though people know the truth about the situation, they know that these people are heartbroken, but they're keeping secrets away from you. Okay, so that's all I'm going to pull with these. So now we have this card that fell out on the floor. This is the um, somebody has crossed over. So we already know that he's passed away. All right. We already know that. So this will be about him. Okay, so now we have somebody has crossed over and then this is somebody needing support. Okay. Somebody that you look to for support that has your back. Like, so if you going through something, this person is somebody that you can go talk to. They'll support you. Um, they will look out for you, give you a shoulder to lean on, whatever the situation is. Okay. So the person that has crossed, somebody has crossed over and then here is the support. And then this is the people that's responsible. So he may have went to the people that's responsible, okay, for support. So if you go somewhere and you ask for somebody to help you, sorry, I 
that. Let me see something else. Wait. But the support, somebody traumatized, wounded. So somebody needed, he probably needed help for something. Some some way he needed some assistance. He asked somebody, maybe he had asked somebody to help him. But with that support came to traumatize a wounded child. Now I want to look at this female here that's supposed to be the girlfriend that's lying and being deceptive. So I'm going to pull a couple on that. The cheating. So he, if he had a girlfriend, maybe they had recently broke up, but there's something going on. He may have been uh, feeling some type of way about the girlfriend, right? But now these cards fell out, but I'm going to put them back in because I'm going to pull another card on the girlfriend and the lies. So I have deadly encounter or set up, somebody trying to get away from a person or a situation. There's some chaos going on. And then you have a group of people coming together to resolve an issue or to handle something. Okay, so I'm putting that back in. Go back to this girlfriend. Now this is coming out with the girlfriend. And then I have the father. So I have a girlfriend in here that's lying and being accepted. There's some cheating, but it's something that's related to somebody's father, not necessarily his father. Um, it just could be somebody who just happens to be a father. So if the girlfriend is cheating. She could have cheated on somebody that has a, that that person that she cheated with could just be a father. OK, so now let me go into the other card. Okay, so here I have somebody that was trusted. There's a hidden agenda and some things are being covered up. So he trusted somebody, but this person had a hidden agenda, meaning the corrupt things that I had come out previously. So that means that you got something going on that you don't want somebody else to know about because then somebody is trying to cover up something as it relates to that hidden agenda. Okay. All right. So here I have somebody reaching their limits. But there's some type of DNA connection to this. And then I have that with the pregnant person. So based on what we just got by the girlfriend, like I said, I don't know if he had a girlfriend, they broke up, the person was cheating. Okay. Because I got somebody being pregnant covering up. Okay. Covering up some things. So that could be the secret because it's coming in the same side as the secrets with the girlfriend. All right. So somebody has reached their limitations with somebody that they have a DNA connection to, or there's some DNA link right there, but it's connected to somebody that is pregnant, right? So 
now the limitations with somebody that has tr that they trust. So I have I'm done with this. I have reached my limits with this person. Okay, that I trusted. Then there's somebody hiding something as it relates to the DNA, and this pregnant person is trying to cover up some things. So somebody could be trying to cover up the fact that that he's not the baby father. It could be that. Okay, so now we have a change in plans. Some deviated. So somebody reached their limits with somebody that was trusted, but it's like something came up to cause them to probably reach their limits. Because now I have the deviation and then I have the mind games coming next to the deviation. So somebody is playing games with you, uh, trying to make you believe something that's not true. And it's a hidden agenda with that mind game connected to the DNA. Then I have somebody covering up something. I got a pregnancy being covered up. Um, and also it could be somebody could have ended or terminated a pregnancy because I got the um, the endings coming with the cover up with the pregnancy. So it could be a pregnancy termination or that pregnancy that somebody was trying to cover up some things about is what caused the ending of the relationship. I got that 10 coming out with that. Because see, the ending is because somebody was playing games with you. And then here I have that is what caused the deviation. So that caused things to shift. So now I have affiliated. So this is this means that somebody that you're connected to, that you trusted, you met your limit with that person because some things changed. Something came up and changed. And then I have it's known. So that means that people know what actually went on with this hidden agenda because people are playing mind games about that DNA. So something happened and people know what happened with that hidden agenda. So that means the corrupt things that people are doing, you got to think outside because people could be doing anything when they have a hidden agenda or they're doing corrupt things, but it's known. All right. And then people are playing mind games. Then I have somebody that's affiliated with him knows some things. Okay. But see here, I have the kidnap with the cover up. So the kidnap means that, yes, somebody could have taken you or somebody didn't let you leave. So you could have went willingly and they didn't let you leave or they could have snatched you up. So here I have somebody covering up the kidnap. Like I said, they don't mean they just snatched them off the road. They could just mean that somebody didn't let you leave once you got somewhere. Now. The kidnap is connected to somebody that he's affiliated with that's trusted and it's known. Okay, so people know about this kidnap because they are affiliated to, with each other. So whoever did the, the kidnap, they are affiliated with each other. Now, they said they found him hanging, I think, in a tree. But they said they did have him on video, a camera, something at Walmart buying rope. Um, but I don't know if they have the video of that or not. But they, that's what they said that he saw on the video.
So now I have people doing things that's not morally right. So that means you could be doing anything, right? But somebody has reached their limit with that. They're tired of that. And with that, things that people are doing that's not morally right, I have the sexual predator. Now, a sexual predator don't mean somebody sneaking around at night. It just means that somebody either does like child molestation. They could be a rape. Uh, what do they call it? You know what I mean? Can't say it on here. Or addicted to sex. So they out there looking all the time. Okay. And then that's on somebody's soul. So that means that's who that person is. Okay. They like to be out in the street. Basically, it's what that means. Somebody like to be out and about. So, but this person here is connected by DNA. And it's also the soul connected to this person. And then the things that somebody has reached their limits on is the things that's not morally right. So, we have him dealing with somebody who looks like they could have been pregnant if they kept the baby or if they had an abortion, whatever the case may be. But he's tired of it. It's like, I'm tired of dealing with this person. This person keep running in the street. Now they didn't got pregnant. You know? And it's it's like they're trying, they have a um, then you got somebody who has a hidden agenda. Playing mind games with him. Okay. So now I have the deviation in the plan. Something happened. I have the violence. And next to the violence, I have the water. The water is the emotions. And then I have here as an emergency situation here. So whatever happened, he needed help. And then this emergency that he needed help because it was the end. Okay. He needed some type of assistance. Um, because he was emotional about the mind games that people were playing on him. Or it, it could be him also keeping some, being deceptive about some things because he's emotional. It can go both ways. But then, like I said, the violence is um, the deviation. That means it's something that just came about. Okay. To switch the, the course of things. But that violence is things that's not morally right, but it's connected to somebody he's affiliated with. And those emotions about that person who's all in the street that they know about it. Okay. And then on the emergency was on his soul and the kidnap. Okay. Okay, so the first card is an impairment. So that means something that somebody impairs you, cause you an impairment, you have some type of impairment, okay? That's connected to somebody that's affiliated that he trusts. So he, there's some connection to somebody that he trusts with that impairment. And then we have the difficulties. Something is made difficult. The hidden agenda brought on the difficulties, but it's like people know. And with that seven, it's like you want to step away from something. You don't want to be there anymore. So it's like I'm going to move. I'm, a, I'm going to remove myself from this situation.
So I'm removing myself from the situation because of how I feel and I'm having a difficulty. I'm having difficulties in the situation. So let's see what else come out of this. So now this is the recreational activity, recreational partner, recreational area. So this is just some things that you do in your spare time or some things that you do in your spare time for enjoyment um, or somebody that you enjoy spending time with and doing things with, right? So there's some things you have reached your limit with this because somebody is doing some things that's not morally right. So the recreational Activity recreational area. Somebody is trying to clean some things up. But it's some things that he got to look at himself about. So if when this card comes up, that means that it's something that you did. That don't mean it's that whatever happened to you is right. It just means that it's some things that is about what you have done. You got to look at yourself to see what, what you did in the situation. Okay. So he has to look at himself and it's coming with the soul card and this. So what, how, like, what role do I play? That's the, when you get that card, I mean, what role did I play in how everything is coming out in my life? And it's like, I got to clean up some things. When you're looking at yourself, you're realizing that you got to clean up your ways. You got to clean up your habits. You got to clean up the people you around, the things that you do. Female, abandoned, left behind, some things that are hidden in the dark. Okay. So to me, what I'm getting out of this, he may have been dealing with some personal issues as it relates to a female. And he had reached his, his breaking point with that. Now, is the police um involved? I don't know about that. Now, are they doing what they're supposed to do? Probably not. You know, probably not. But as far as him, I don't see nobody like a like a, um, a murder or anything like that. But it's just like he has some things going on in his personal life. And and at the same time, you're dealing with the police or whatever, the area, whatever he's at. Um, and they're not doing their job the right way. Like they may be mishandling some things. They didn't do some things the right way. They didn't respond in time. They didn't do this in time. Um, yeah. yeah, he was dealing with some things about a relationship that he may not have even talked about. He may not have discussed he just held it within himself. There's a lot of emotional things going on um, with him. And it's like he's going to handle things in the way he wants to handle them. So that's what I get for him. And you can leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching.